my friends. I'm so excited to see you today. There I am. <laughs> I'm so excited to see you guys today. And guess what time it is? It's story time. And today we're going to be reading a great book about apples and pumpkins. So let's sing our story time song before we continue. Here we go. Are you ready for a story? Eyes are watching. Ears are listening. Mouth is zipped because story time is quiet time. So Today we're going to be reading Apples and Pumpkins, and the author is Anne Rockwell. She is the person who wrote the book. So let's see what Anne Rockwell wrote with for us today. When red and yellow leaves are on the trees, we go to Comstock Farm. to pick apples and pumpkins. Mr. Comstock gives us a bushel basket to put our apples in. Geese and chickens and a big fat turkey walk with us on our way to the orchard where the apples grow. My father picks apples, my mother does too. I climb into a little apple tree and pick the reddest apple of all. When our basket is full of red and shiny apples, We go to the field where the pumpkins grow. I look and look until I find the best pumpkin of them all. My father cuts it from the vine. I carry it back to the car. At home, we carve a jack-o'-lantern face on our big orange pumpkin. We put a candle inside and light it. Now our pumpkin looks scary and funny too. On Halloween night, we put our pumpkin on the doorstep. My mother gives away lots of our red and shiny apples for, a, for trick or treat. while I go trick-or-treating up and down our street. When red and yellow leaves are on the trees, it's time to pick pumpkins and apples. The end. What a great story. Have you ever been apple picking or pumpkin picking? Oh, wow, that's so awesome. Fall in fall, you can do apple picking and pumpkin picking, and it is so fun to do with your family. If you want to read the story again, just rewind it and start from the beginning. It was so nice reading with you today. Bye-bye for now. See you next time.